Virgos, welcome back, welcome back. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, we're going to do your weekend reading here. See what the energies are for October 7th, 8th, and 9th. Um, so if you're new, please do hit that like and uh, subscribe. Subscribe button. <laughs> if you want to get a personal reading or purchase any of my decks, become a member of my channel, all that good stuff is down below in the description box. All right, you guys, so be mindful. The messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. All right, so let's start with October 7th, Friday. Let's see what the energies are for you, Virgo, for October 7th. It's a love reading uh, generally, and if anything else shows up, I'll give you the messages for that. October 7th, what are the messages for Virgo for Friday? October 7th, 2022. I cannot believe it's like gonna be Halloween soon. I'm so happy. Okay, hold on, let's see. Friday, hi everybody in the chat, how are you? Okay, Friday, October, oop, oop, oop. Okay. All right, the dragonfly, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're starting with dragonfly. Virgo, be lighthearted. You're gonna find some things out or things are gonna to come to light on Friday. Adapt to it, change and heal, okay? Let's get started. Let's get started. So take it easy on Friday. Okay. Yes. Things are going to come to light. You might see something. You might hear something. You might find out something. Um, adapt to it. Change. Okay. And heal. Okay. Continue on your journey. Whatever is going on in your life. You might see a dragonfly on Friday to give you a reminder about this energy okay something's going to come to light okay let's find out what's going to come to light for you okay let's see oh wow ace of cups there's a new love coming to you a new beginning is happening here for you wow the chariot okay cancer energy a lot of travel okay six of swords a necessary transition okay so something new is coming to you some of you maybe you're gonna get a new car um, there's a new beginning something is starting okay so you have the Queen of Swords could be with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius okay there's a new beginning happening here somebody might be uh, reaching out to you, giving you some clarity, telling you some truth. They want to tell you something about how they feel. They want to have a new start with you. Um, the, the, so I feel like somebody here is in this position of like they know what they want with that chariot energy. They know like they get into their car, they set the destination on their, you know, their GPS or whatever. They set their destination on their map plug in the numbers, they know which direction they want to go, and that's towards you, okay? The Queen of Swords can be your energy as well, where clarity and truth comes to you. So I feel like Friday, Friday, I feel like there's some communication from someone, and it's direct towards you with this Ace of Cups. This is like grace. This is a blessing. This feels like you might find out... Um, it's, it, it's an emotional thing that has a deep impact on you, on your heart, okay? And it's weird because I feel like at first when I was reading the dragonfly description, when it said adapt, change, and heal, at first I was like, well, is this bad? Like, why does Virgo need to adapt and change and to heal? This isn't. This is overwhelming. Okay, this is going to feel overwhelming for you. Somebody, I feel like coming your way or traveling to you or wanting to connect with you. So that Queen of Swords makes me feel like that sword energy, which is, you know, uh, it's like the thoughts, someone's thinking some thoughts and they want to tell you and have communication. And when I look at the Queen of Swords, her hand there, it's like giving truth and then saying like, talk to me, talk to me. I feel like 
somebody wants you to talk to them to respond to something that they're going to say to you. Now, let me just get clarity on the chariot. So there's sword and water energy here. Okay, so for some, this could be uh, a water sign. It could be an air sign. Let me see. Show me the chariot. One of the messages for the chariot. Clarity for the chariot. Oh, wow, more sword. Yep, definitely communication. Wow, someone's very curious, spying, watching, watching you online. This is crazy. Or just like like curious about you, wanting to talk to you, ask you questions. Um, how do you feel about this? How would you feel about us starting, you know, to start dating? Um, like, I feel like someone wants to, it's overwhelming. It's an outpouring of love. And I, f I feel like someone is um, like, asking if you're going to be around on the weekend or on Friday, They're asking you to do something on Friday to connect with you and Virgo. Um, you might just be with that queen of swords energy sitting there like, yeah, come on over <laughs> or I'll meet up with you. Okay. And I feel for some of you that adapt, change and heal is an energy of like, you need to do this. You need to go do this with this person. Okay. Um, for yourself right? It's for yourself. They just gave me the word training. Okay. <laughs> Maybe training yourself, clearing out a, a past heartbreak and having a new beginning with someone. Okay. So Friday is all about some type of communication, loving communication coming in for you. All right. Let's take a look and see what the energy is for Saturday. Okay. Wow. You have the Phoenix. A new phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. All right, let's take a look and see. What else does Virgo need to know for Saturday, October 8th? Saturday. So the Phoenix is rising, that's for sure. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. Okay, so you have the world. You have the Page of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles, wow, okay, definitely a new phase, that's the world, end of an old chapter, the beginning of a new chapter, so communication is well online with someone, okay, a lot of it, We're starting new communication with someone, mm, all right, give me a second, so the Page of Pentacles as well, I feel like you're getting, like someone wants to I always use this now. If someone wants to flip a coin in your coin slot on Saturday, <laughs> right? Like this is the piggy bank with all the coins in it. And somebody's coming in to like, can I, can I slip one in there? <laughs> I know some of you will be like taking this in a particular way, but all this green, this green energy, it makes me feel like there's some, um, like, like a, like a groundedness happening here. Like this is the real deal. Like green represents earth. It's tangible, it's something practical, something that you can touch and you can feel. Okay, so the energy I'm picking up here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay, let me see. There's a rekindling, renewal. Someone's having a changed mind about something on Saturday. Okay, let me see. Somebody's buying something for you or you're investing. There's an energy of investing. Either you are or somebody else's. Investing in a business or a company that's across the globe, uh, like a global kind of a thing, or um, doing some internet searching, looking for investments or home, uh, real estate, uh, things like that, putting money in a 401k, like really doing some research as far like as non-love related stuff. But I feel like you are, you're definitely either going to be receiving an offer that comes in from far away or you will be giving an offer far away. That's far away. Let me see here. Okay, so you have the hangman, Piscean energy. Wow, this is a whole new perspective. Getting a whole new perspective, new phase renewal. This is a changed mind. You're changing your mind about something and someone else has changed their mind about something in a positive way to have like a new start or a new beginning on Saturday. But the page is communication again. 
okay so there's some kind of text of some some sort or a phone call or maybe an email um, somebody has some kind of an idea about investing in this connection that in a relationship right they've had a somewhat of a spiritual awakening here okay so let me see very practical though it's like a very you know i feel like friday this is really like um a new beginning you know a new love start here with someone and friday gives me a sense of like it's more along the lines of talking okay and then saturday is more along the lines of doing right so friday feels like oh new ideas plans curiosity researching things that make your heart go boom fluttering excitement um, movement um, taking some necessary steps in love but saturday feels saturday feels to me like the work actually gets done like something comes to fruition plans get put into place okay change happens okay um yeah i'm going to get another card for the hangman you might have some something you've had on your mind you know and then you put it into action or something some or somebody has something on their mind on friday and then it gets put into action on saturday show me the hangman okay five of pentacles absolutely getting out of this um this cold spell somebody coming out of a cold spell definitely no more being broke busted and disgusted making change here and being able to make change like in order to make change you gotta you gotta pay for something in order to get change you have to you have to purchase something in order to receive change for it change back you know um if you're using actual coins and cash but this feels to me like in order to build in order to be successful you have to invest into it where there was only a little bit even if you only drop a couple of or somebody only drops like a little bit of coins that's a start to build something here okay so you take that in any realm that could be in love that could be in investments business your health your career you know anything along those lines but it's a love reading so we're going in like friday is more about communication about the love and the heart the heart things and then Saturday, it's like seeing things to fruition, like being able to like put these plans into action. All right, Sunday. Healthy choices. Oh my gosh, I love it. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Oh my gosh, you know, I feel like this weekend. All right, let's, let me not jump the gun. Oh my gosh, a page of cups. All right, it's king of wands. The knight of pentacles, wow. Okay, so fire sign definitely showing up here on Sunday, which is interesting because Sunday is the full moon in Aries. So for some of you, this could be an Aries that you're connecting with. Um, doesn't have to be. It could be a Sag, could be a Leo, um, but we have earth and water here as well. So I feel like there's a lot of love, admir admiration, communication coming in, um, an apology possibly somebody here you know making healthy choices for themselves and wanting to have like you in their life long term so there's either an apology from somebody coming in um, and there's also like a lot of loving warm sweet communication coming in from someone that's going to go long term okay this kind of feels like it's all blending to me you know, you're starting off with communication, plans getting put into place, taking action, investing, you know, um, really doing something here and then continuing on with this beautiful, loving Page of Cups energy through the communication. And that Knight of Pentacles represents enduring love. Okay, enduring. Um, it, you know, if you're going to have any kind of long term commitment with anyone, you want it with the Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles like doesn't move too quick knight of pentacles is someone who can endure long term all right show me show me this knight of wands i feel like somebody here 
knows that you are their happiness, knows that you too can be happy in the long, in the long run, long term. Okay. Um, now if this, now I think yesterday you had reconciliation. So it could be connected to that person. Let me see. Show me King of Wands. All right, Nine of Swords, really stressed. This person, a lot of high anxiety. Um, if you knew them before, maybe they breadcrumbed you before. Um, really stressed if they're gonna be able to provide for you, but they want to long-term. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is a peek into them, um, but I feel like this person wants to give, <laughs> donate to your piggy bank. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know, healthy choices is like reciprocity. They're really stressed that they can't please you, but they're going to try. Okay. They're, it's, it's kind of, and which is strange because in that King of Cups, male or female energy, King, the, the fire sign court card usually comes with much confidence, but there's a bit of anxiety here within this person. And they're like, are they going to be able to meet your needs but they're going to keep trying to give and also if you have kids or the family members they want to like i don't want to use the word donate but they want to help they want to you know be able to provide not just for you but for all those who are connected to you make a good impression um show me this page of cups okay wow competition so i feel like <laughs> This person, they know that you get a lot of offers. They know that there's a, there's going to be a lot of competition um, for them with other people. But this person is going to lay it on real thick with the love. Absolutely. They, they want to kind of sweeten you up and keep doing that because they know that they could lose you at the drop of a hat. You know, like... I just feel like this person... You know, they're seeing a long-term connection with you and it's, it's, it's a good decision for them. And like, I feel like this person is coming to this place where they're finally making healthy choices for themselves. Maybe they didn't in the past. Maybe they were someone who was just kind of breadcrumbing or flip-flopping around in other relationships or not really investing. You know, people can't invest in you unless they're investing in themselves first. You know, if we're not taking care of self, we can't take care of anybody else. Um, let me take a look at you. Let me just see you. What's your energy, Virgo, for this weekend? Because this is all external to you. What is your energy? What is Virgo's energy for this weekend? October 7th through the 9th. Okay. Oh, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email. Um, Virgo, I feel like, um, oh, you're going to be a little like chatty Kathy over the weekend or, um, let me see here. You're interested. I see you being interested and you want to learn more and talk more to somebody. You may have been awaiting a message from someone and it finally comes in. Like I said, a text call or an email. Um, let me see. Oh, Queen of Wands. Ener energies are matching here, at least Saturday and Sunday. You might be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, but Queen of Wands is like bold, confident, powerful. Oh, here's the King of Pentacles. Okay. So yeah, like I said, Leo Virgo cusp. And for others, this is just two people coming together, talking to each other. You could be talking to a fire sign or um, you could be on the cusp talking to another earth sign. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. There's talking. You're open to communicating with someone over this weekend. Okay. Eight of Swords. Yep. Coming out. Finding out someone, someone, you might be talking to a friend, you find out that they're coming out of the closet. Um, for others, Eight of Swords energy with, with judgment is like no more judgment. I feel like for you, you're not going to be holding any judgment. You know somebody's like been trapped or restricted in their life, or you may have felt that way, but this weekend I feel like you're opening up. You are opening up 
in general, but and also to somebody else. There's a lot of talking. Um, you're going to be very responsive. You know, I don't see you being in hermit mode over the weekend. That that this is karma uh, as well. So everything, all the good you've done is coming back to you over the weekend. Let me see here. And and you know what? This judgment card has. Um, I believe okay this is a total lunar eclipse this judgment card they're telling me um, on November 8th and this lunar eclipse will be in Taurus November 8th is going to be a significant day for you as well this is just an extra bonus being added during this lunar eclipse, um, November 8th, around 6 a.m. Eastern, there will be a huge shift, an awakening and an opening, an epiphany, uh, an opening. Something's happening. Something changes in you on the 8th. Something causes you to open up here, which is the moon, okay, which is the, the eclipse, okay. All right, wait, I just got, they gave me three more cards. Yeah, where you were once blocked, all your blockages will be released, okay? Four of pentacles with the nine of wands. All your blockages are going to be released, and then it's like, pew, game on, charge. All right, November 8th, keep that in the back of your mind. Write it down. Major shift on November 8th. Okay, let me just see what the love messages are here. For you overall for the weekend okay give a relationship a chance work on a partnership all right this is going to be the um the awakening thing here some of you are going to give or be given an opportunity to give a relationship a chance okay could be somebody new could be somebody from before You'll have to wait and see, like, you know who your person is. As far as the court cards, we have earth, fire, and air, okay? What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, playfulness as well for the weekend. So basically, Virgo, just go out and have a good time. Go swing on the swings, you know, go to your concert, do your shopping, uh, go socialize, engage with others. I feel like it's really great for the weekend. I feel like the opportunity is going to arise starting on Friday with new love coming in, which is very beautiful. And there's a decision. Time to decide about this relationship. Yeah. So whatever you whatever you were letting go of, or if you haven't met anybody, it's going to come about over the weekend, at least potentially for some of you. And I feel like it's really good opportunity for you um, here over this weekend, um, <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of get a sense. It's ha it's fifty fifty because for some of you there is someone coming in that you're going to hear about, or, or something's going to come to light that someone's interested in you, and it's going to be kind of like it's going to floor you, and you know, like you're going to be like phew, drop swept off your feet a little bit here, and then all this change takes place. It's very progressive, very progressive. All right, Virgo, so I'm going to leave your weekend reading here. I hope you enjoy that. I will be back Sunday night. Um, I am going to do an Aries uh, full moon reading for you um, to start on the 9th because that the full moon is in Aries. So we'll see. You'll be able to start setting your intentions now over the weekend for the Aries reading. All right, you guys. Love you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and stay tuned. Keep your eye out for the shorts over the weekend. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.